I got a lot of requests from you guys to make a map animation tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. For this case today we will not use only CapCut but also Photoshop. We need Photoshop because we have to make an overlay to a specific part of the map that we want to highlight and animate later in CapCut. But don't worry if you don't have a Photoshop, I will provide you with all the files that you need for this video so you can practice alone. You can download all of them if you click the link down in the description. Now let us open Photoshop and import the map. You can also find different maps on pexels.com or freepick.com. For our tutorial we need two PNGs. One which is two dimensional map and one which is in 3D. I'm going to show you how you can do the 3D effect. We need a background and we need a map on a transparent background. Now drag the map to the background and place it in the center. Next thing we need to do is go up to 3D and choose new 3D extrusion. That way we can open 3D functionalities. Click yes. Then click and hold the bottom part of the map and drag it up. You can also drag the extrusion depth down a little and if you like it you can then go up to file, export, save for web and make sure you choose PNG24 and save it to your computer. To turn off the 3D workspace go to window, workspace and click essentials. Next what we need to create is an overlay for a part of the map you want to highlight. Import the 3D map you just exported, go up to Tools and choose Magic One Tool. Click on the part you want to highlight on the video, in my case that will be California. Choose the color, select the Paint Bucket tool and click on the Mark area to apply the color. Now let's create a new file, go up to File, New, make sure it's a transparent background and click Create. Go back to map, choose move tool, then drag and drop the green part to the new file. Go up to file, export, save for web and save PNG24 on your computer. Now let's do a second country. Go back, choose magic one tool and this time I will mark Florida. Choose paint bucket tool. Put the color on Florida, choose move tool again and move colored Florida to a transparent file. Hide California part and save it to your computer. We can close Photoshop now because we have all the files that we need for CapCut. So open CapCut and create a new project. Import all the files, 2 dimensional map, 3D map and both colored files. First, drag the two-dimensional map on the timeline, then 3D map. Go up to Transitions, find Mix Transition and apply it by clicking on the plus icon. Now move your playhead to the beginning of your second map, highlight it, go up and click keyframe on position and size. Then move your playhead 20 frames forward by holding shift and press two times right directional arrow key on your keyboard. Go up, increase the size to 165% and move it down a little. Go to the media and drag the green California part to the timeline. Increase it to 165%, drag it to the right spot and decrease the opacity to 80%. Now click keyframe on opacity, position and size. Go to animation, choose fade in effect and set it to 0.7 seconds. Move your playhead to the beginning of this part, go up to text, add default text and write your text. In my case I'll write Los Angeles. Resize it and move it to the right place. We will set the same effect for the text as we did for California. So go to animation, 
choose fade in and set it to 0.7 seconds. Now we have to import our airplane. Like I said, I will leave you a download link in the description. Move your playhead to the beginning of the text, go up to media and import the airplane. Drag it to the timeline where your playhead is, go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green and drag the strength slider to the right. Go to basic, resize the plane and move it to the start position. In our case, that is Los Angeles. Then set the animation as we did for California and the text. Also, duration has to be 0.7 seconds. Now let us create a line direction from LA to Miami. First, we need to extend the things a little bit. Then move your playhead to somewhere like this. Go up to text, choose default text and write dash a couple of times. Scroll down, set the character to minus three. Scroll down, uncheck uniform scale, make it a little bit thinner and stretch it. Let us also change the color. Scroll down, click on glow and adjust it to your likings. Then click on curve and position the line so it goes from LA all the way across to Florida. When you're done, drag the line under the plane. Rotate the plane so it is the same direction as our line. Highlight the lane and stretch it to the end. Right click and create a compound clip. Then highlight the plane, click keyframe on position and size, move your playhead to somewhere like this, drag the plane to Florida and rotate it a little bit. Go back to the first keyframe, highlight the line, go to mask, horizontal and rotate the line like this. Set the feather to 10 and drag it so you don't see the line anymore, then click keyframe. Highlight the plane so we see where the last keyframe is. Then highlight the line and drag it all the way to Florida and keyframe will be created automatically. Highlight the plane again, move it to the first keyframe, then go 20 frames forward and set the plane position on the line. Continue like this till you reach the end. Then go like 10 frames back, highlight the text, copy and paste it, drag it to the other side and rewrite the text. Drag the playhead to the end and click on W to cut the right part of the text. Now the last thing we need to do is highlight the Florida state. So go to media and drag down the Florida green part. Let's see where our last keyframe is and drag it to this position. Go up and scale it to 165%. Reposition it to the right spot. Turn the opacity to 80 and drag it under the plane. Go up to animation, choose fade in and set it to 0.7 seconds. We also have to put it under the line. Go to the end and click on W to cut the rest part. Now we are almost done, but I always like to add some sound effects to get even better results. For music and sound effects, I use Epidemic Sound. That way I can be sure I don't get any claims about the copyrights. If you want to try it for 7 days for free, I will leave you a link in the description. So I already found the airplane sound and the sound of a row which I will use it here. Find the position where plane starts to move. Go up to the sound and click plus icon to drop it down. Then just adjust it. 
go to the end and cut it. Then move the second sound down to the timeline and I want to find that ping sound at arrival. Cut it and adjust it. Go to the end, delete the rest part and drag the fade out icons to the left. We can also increase the volume of the plane a little bit. Congratulations! If you followed along then you just made that nice map airplane animation. Let us see our end product.